Hey dudes, what's up? It's Steph. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you my go-to summer look because summer is just around the corner. Um, according to Google, it's on June 21st. Educate yourself. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, so I'm feeling bright and colorful and... Sunny. So I'm going to be playing around with yellow tones, orange, red. I want to sense it on my eyelids. So yeah, I'm... This video is just about that. I'm just going to show you how I do my summer look style. So, without further ado, keep on watching. To start off, I'm not really going to prime my face because, I mean, I don't really prime my face because I'm just staying here at home. I don't go anywhere. But I am going to use the Nivea cream to just kind of moisturize my face and have like something that the foundation can stick on, if that makes sense. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just gonna be doing that. Kind of refresh my face because it is so hot outside. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorite foundations. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 320, and I'm gonna mix that with the L Flawless Finish Foundation. And I'm just gonna be bouncing that on a beauty blender. I really like this combination just because, I don't know, like the Fenty Beauty, I love that foundation a lot, but it's a little orange on me, and so the e.l.f. kind of blends it in to kind of make it my skin tone, if that makes sense. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline concealer, this one right here. And I'm going to mix that with the another Maybelline Instant A True One concealer, mixing both of them. I'm applying the darker color underneath this area of my eyes. And I'm going to go in with the other concealer above it to brighten the, brighten the eye more. Going along the bridge of my nose as well as the center of my forehead. And then going in with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer right underneath my eyes. And then blending that in with a beauty, beauty sponge. Setting that with the airspun translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me powder in shade 235 and basically set my whole face with this. Alright, the base is done. Um, I got foundation on my lips. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back um, with my brows. We're gonna move on to eyes and I'm gonna put a base. I'm not gonna put a primer but it can act as a primer because I've been doing this and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light peach. Go ahead and place that on my eyelids. And I'm going to go in with one of these brushes right here. Woo. And just start tapping it on my eyelids. Okay, so my eyelids are basically prime, I guess. Um, now I'm going to go in with 
two different palettes. I'm going to be using the Sofax Revolution palette, this one right here, and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette as well. So I'm going to start off with the Sofax Revolution palette using the 21 um, color, and I'm just going to start packing it on my lid. And so... I'm going to start packing it in and start making the shape. I'm going to zoom you in, guys, just so y'all can see this. Okay. Don't worry about blending it in because we're going to go back and blend it. So... Just focus on making the shape. For that, to help me to make the shape better, for me, I use a smudger brush, something like this, to help me create that shape. So I would literally line out the shape I want. And it's really good to use a smudger brush because it has helped me a lot to create a round shape or any shape that I need to create before I start blending it out. So, just start doing that. So this is basically the shape that you wanted, kind of like this round shape. And now we're gonna start blending it out with that same brush we used at first. We're gonna start blending it. Just kind of diffuse it just a little bit because we're gonna go and add an orange tone right above it. Now we're going to go in with that same palette and we're going to go in with Sweet and Sour. And I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush, fluffy brush, and I'm going to start packing that right above we put that that pinkish red tone. And just start blending it with it. And I am focusing it more on the end of the corner, right here, just because I wanted to go, I just wanted to have that sunset effect, if that makes sense. Again, you can use that same smudger brush and make a better line, because all we're doing is we're basically adding a line to it right above it that's orange and then we're gonna blend that in so. the smudger brush really helps me pack on the color and then I just blend it out and then I'm just gonna start blending it in and out. You can use the same, I'm using the same brush, but on the clean side. Okay, once we have that kind of blend out, now we're gonna go with the Jaclyn Hill palette and we're gonna go with the yellow tone. So this tone right here. And again, we're gonna pack that above the orange. Kind of like above the orange, but, but within the orange. Does that make sense? I don't know. 
I'm not good with words. I can just show you. Okay, once you have this craziness looking eyes, um, we're going to go ahead and cut the lid. And I'm going to be using the same e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer to cut the lid. Take your time because... It can get messy. And I'm just going to use a flat tip brush to start cutting my lid. A helpful trick that I have is that I use this type of brush which is kind of like an angle brush kind of like a brow brush and I use it to kind of shape the crease if that makes sense and it might be a little messy because it is <laughs> it is so it's such a mess I am a mess okay I can't do shit right but I have tricks to make it look nice because we're actually just cutting the crease to put a brighter yellow onto it so it's not gonna it's really not gonna look like this at all you know what sucks I'm gonna have to do this whole thing on the other eye that sucks for me so I just use that little angle angle brush to kind of give me the outline and then I'm gonna go back with this flat tip brush and start filling it in okay once you've cut your lid or your cut crease am I saying that right because See, I'm not a professional beauty blogger, so I don't even know the terms to use, the right terms. But once you kind of have this madness over here, we're going to go back to that Sofex Revolution palette. And we're going to go in with Vitamin C, which is this yellow right here. And we're going to pack that. I'm going to be using this packer brush or whatever. And we're going to pack that color right into the lid. We're going to pack it all in there. And now I'm going to start blending things together. So I'm going to go back to that Sofix color 21. And I'm going to start it blending in towards the yellow. So right over here, start kind of blending it in. And then back with that orange again from the same Sofix palette. And then we're kind of just slightly going to go above that crease. Because the whole purpose of cutting the lid was to put on the yellow so it could pop more. If that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, once we've blended everything out, I'm gonna go in and have that 21 look, that little reddish pink tone, and then that's gonna go underneath my eyelashes. And I'm gonna go back with that orange and blend it out too. Just like that. And then I'm going to actually go in with the Sofix highlighting palette. This one right here. And I'm going to go in with this golden shade right here. 
for the inner corner. Okay, so this is basically the eye look that I'm going for. It's kind of giving me That's So Raven vibes, but I'm not mad at it. I like it, but I'm going to go off camera real quick, and I'm going to finish off the other eye and put on some fake eyelashes. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back, dudes. I finished off the eyes off camera. I put on some falsies by Eyler. I think they're the Lux edition and I put on mascara on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to bronze up slash contour and I'm going to be using this palette right here and I'm going to be using a mixture of these two. Now for blush, I'm going to use the matte blush palette, this one right here, um, that I got. I don't even remember where I got this, but I had this for a while, and I really like it. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Blushing. Blushing. I'm going to start to do blush, or whatever. Okay, so we're done with blush. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to go in with the same highlight palette that we went for the inner corner, the Sofix Revolution palette. And I'm actually going to go in with this color right here. Taking that on this fluffy type of brush, and I'm just going to start highlighting my cheeks, cheekbones, I guess. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my nose and on the bridge of my nose. And then right here above the lip. Alright, so shoulders for days. Shoulders for days. Um, I'm weird like that, sorry. Okay, so we're highlighted, bronze, blush, everything. Now for the lips, I'm actually going to go with a very bright red. And I'm going with this one. This one's by Forever 21, believe it or not. Um, I just really, for some reason, I do like their lipsticks. Like, they got some good lipsticks. So I'm going to go with this one right here. You can go for a nude or a more like toned down color so all the attention goes to the eyes but it is summer for me and I want to go with a bright red because I can let's get ready and I'm just gonna line up my lips because because I have no lips well you see this mm, I gotta pucker them out like on my photos I kind of like pucker them out like, you know. And I do overline a little bit on my lipstick. I do have very like full lips at the bottom, but not on the top, which I'm like, why you gotta do me like that, God, huh? Okay, so lips are done and I am loving this bright red color. It goes perfectly with this orange red yellow tones that's happening on the eyelids. And I'm really, really happy with how the lips look and how everything turned out. So for the last step, I'm going to use setting spray and I'm using this one by e.l.f. 
and I'm going to set my whole cara, carita. Oh, that was a big spray. And I like to go back and just kind of press on it. Press on that setting spray. Okay, yeah guys, that completes this look, this summer vibe look that I made for you guys. I'm very proud of it and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look. And I'm, you're going to see me wear this a lot in the summer. I know it. I know my ass is going to be wearing this a lot. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, click the thumbs up down below. But yeah, guys, I had so much fun, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, dudes.